the saga's chaotic season finally comes to a close. But for Captain Elliot Nice, the future is uncertain. I gotta wait till the boat gets to town. The camera's coming off my boat. And, um, I will never be shown on Deadly Sketch again. And I'm right at the point to where the juice is no longer worth the squeeze of Deadly Sketch. I won't be anybody's bitch. I kill a mother from anybody's bitch. The monster's taking over. Zig's a young kid. He's got a lot going for him. But, you know, put a 32-year-old kid in uh, charge of one of these things without a problem, and you got stress. So you multiply it by uh, his drug addiction and everything else. And uh, the guy's got a lot of, lot of on his plate. And you know he doesn't want to lose Val and his kids. And uh, he doesn't want to let his dad down. Yeah, it's not good. It's, uh, it's not good. Back in Dutch, trips over. Got quite a bit of uh, drama going on, so. He, he threatened me that uh, if I will say anything about what's going on, he'd make sure I never have a trap job in the Bering Sea again. But I think that's kind of what's gonna happen to him, more like it. I'm sure He'd get a job somewhere doing something, but probably not in the Bering Sea on any crap boat. I don't know. Be a big crew change here, probably. physically able or mentally able to do this job, someone's going to take your job. You know, I hope Elliot's all right over there. It's just so sad. Used to live untruly, so kindly, and it left you lying here in the room. It's my first day out of sea running a crab boat. A lot of responsibility for somebody who's 28. You know, I never went to college. I, I went to BSU, Bering Sea University, School of Hard Knocks. I have faith in him. Got hope burning in your brain. I own a really nice big crab boat. There's a lot of people that said I couldn't do it. Now look at me now. It's the biggest one of the year right there. Yeah! Daddy! Oh. Daddy! My dad wasn't always around when I was a kid. And definitely want to be around for my kids. You had seven years to get it right, and you just couldn't. All right, let's go. Easier said than done. Now you live so true, mysterious and blue. I don't think I have a problem. <laughs> I don't. I spent hundred thousand dollars in cocaine and nobody cared. Got a hole burning in your heart. But once before, your love was overflowed. The kid had the world in his hand, but he let this thing get the best of him. Everything in life that he had worked his entire life for has now disappeared. It's anybody's guess where he's going to be or what he's going to do. That's for Elliot to decide. When you live so freely And you walk so easy Leaning with whichever way the wind would blow 